Oh, no. Well, I just had to take my own test as I had close contact with somebody who left his show carrying Tim Strain. But I'm happy to report that I am negative and I'm going to live forever. I mean, I'll prob heart disease will probably get me. But I mean, um, yeah, it was a close call in my inner circle here. Um, obviously, I had suspicions about uh, what was going on with Tim. Um, and then I received some DMs this morning from people who had close contact. And I've been sick for the past four days ever since um, I went to Montana and had close contact with the person that was on Tim's show last. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I don't have it. Um, I'm invincible. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to go lick some doorknobs. Um, just kidding. Uh, lucky, I guess. Um, as from what I can tell, both people were poked, double poked, and uh, both got it. So thanks a lot. Uh, you know, I'm currently not, but two people who are could have given it to me. I feel like I deserve a blue check mark on Twitter now. Well, um, people have been asking me in private and publicly, what's up with Tim? Where's Tim? Well, he came out today and said that he had the coof. Um, last Friday, he had the coof. It was the worst illness he'd ever experienced. He was hit pretty hard. He was prescribed, quote, the kitchen sink, um, which are three things. By the way, Susan, I'm not a doctor. I'm not offering any medical advice. I think people should talk to their own doctors about what they should do, what they feel like is right for them. He had taken three things. Of course, the the um, apple flavor, I'm told, is what he got. For the um the Iver stuff that he got. I don't know what NAD and vitamin drips are. Uh, I, I assume I know what a vitamin drip is, but um yeah. Um he says that he believes that the um mono, monoclonal antibodies were work for him. Of course, that's just his belief. Um and he started to feel better. Now, I think it's important to point out that Tim is a relatively healthy guy um, in you know good physical condition or decent physical condition. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm happy that he recovered. For all the jabs I give Adam about him and his um, go buy a farm stuff, um, I like Tim. I respect him. Um, and I know on the internet, People are always looking for like, you know, you might trade barbs and they think that it's some serious thing. I get it. That's the way the internet culture is. But um, for me, the barbs are always just like, hey, he's my bro and I'm just kind of giving him some, giving him the business. But of course, people absolutely losing their mind. I can hear the articles, uh, you know, far right journalist Tim Pool takes apple flavored um, paste from tractor supply store. Now, again, you can see many, many of these comments, by the way, are, you know, ironic, I would assume, um, but not all of them, you know, not all of them. You can see um, a lot of people, you know, hit Pim Tool took the paste, hot takes in co incoming, a lot of people kind of preparing for that. What I will say is I'll give some of the people credit, um, you know, so for being less vile than I expected. Um, but still, of course, there's lots of people out there. I 100% believe that Tim Pool faked it so he could say that he took the paste and that it worked and defend Joe Rogan. And again, the whole thing with the, the paste narrative was and is a disinformation campaign, uh, one that backfired on CNN because they thought it was better to you know, there's obviously a human version of that, which is what everyone was taking. As far as I know, there's no evidence of wide scale tractor supply, apple flavor paste using, um, just like there was never any widespread evidence of people taking aquarium stuff. Um, but places like CNN and MSNBC, they like to, uh, I don't know. They, they like to, they can't just be honest and tell the truth. They like to use, you know, hyperbole for everything. Why did you go to the hospital? Why did you go to your doctor? Why didn't you just stay home and let your natural immunity fight it? Again, lots of people. I don't think that Tim has ever been like anti-poke. 
I think he's remained similar in position to me in that, you know, I, I mean, for, for what I, I believe that there are lots of people that need to strongly consider it, um, myself included, based on just being overweight and not particularly healthy, um, although I am working on that. Um, but there's a lot of healthy young people that probably, you know, they have a different calculation. That's all. I'm not a doctor and I don't want to, you know, everyone should make their own decisions. He said, you admitted to receiving monoclonals, yet you credited Iver. He didn't. He actually didn't. Um, he just said, hey, I took these three things. In fact, he said specifically that he thought that was what made it work for him. Also, if your doctor prescribed it for the COOF, I'd like you to report them to your state's medical board. Even if you're an idiot, you deserve better medical care. Like, the the it's so funny that people are losing their minds. Like, it's like people secretly want, want people to die from this. You know, like, nobody talks about people who have been double poked and, and died unless they have some other type of, you know, position. Uh, unless they're defending themselves against getting it. And it's just a weird, like, things go too far on the internet. I would never want anybody to 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 suffer from this and i want the best for people even people i strongly disagree with and you see here um <laughs> i don't i don't know i i think it's i think you want to be careful um about listening or looking at one particular case for example and saying well that's going to work for me because i do think that that's a different thing you can see a lot of people mocking Far right YouTuber Tim Pool uh, takes horse paste. Well, 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 if it isn't old, Tim horse paste pool. Um, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, he can feel how, how he wants about certain things. And then um, some people are angry at him saying that he held a party and this is was a super spreader event. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was. I see Ryan Long in there. Um, no masks. I'm sure that's, you know, I'm sure that's a thing, but I, I don't know. I, I don't think that I'm happy that Tim's okay. Um, and we, we see that, you know, we, we saw the same thing with Joe Rogan where, you know, Sanjay Gupta telling Joe Rogan that CNN shouldn't have called it horse paste, but they did. Uh, and they do that for a certain reason. Now, will they do the same thing with Tim? I don't think so. Because I think that they got a lot of egg on their face, horse egg all over their face. And I also think that this sort of narrative is really counterproductive. Like, if you want me to believe that you genuinely care about people making the right medical decisions, then you shouldn't, like, make everything a farce. And you shouldn't, like, um, deliberately lie because all it does is destroy your credibility long term. It makes people think, um, you know, geez, why would I listen to you? You're like, um, you know, you lie about that. You know, why? And when they are, it's like the boy who cried wolf. You know, you lie and you lie and you lie. And then maybe one day you come along and CNN has something really important to say. And pe people are going to be like, but what about Marussia? And what about, you know, when you said, kept saying that Joe Rogan took horse paste? It's like calling carrots horse food or water, you know, like horse water or apples. You know what I mean? Like sugar cubes, horse treats. It's it's purposeful and it's and it's it's very damaging. And then they went and doubled down on it. Now I'm no doctor, but I could tell you this. If I was feeling very bad. I would be telling my doctor to give me all of this stuff. I would ask, you know, what's the risk? Is it going to either A, do nothing, or B, you know, there's a small chance it will help me? Why wouldn't I take it? I don't know. That's just how I'm thinking. But I would still be talking to my doctor, obviously, um, which is, I'm assuming, what Tim did. But uh, there's a lot of angry people on Twitter that um, Tim didn't die literally from this. And, of course, they're also mad that he dared take the same sort of, quote, kitchen sink approach that Joe did. But, again, Joe and Tim are both relatively healthy individuals. Um, Joe far more so than Tim. Um, and it seems like 
a lot of people that were there got it. Um, that is concerning. You know, you want to, you want to, there's, you know, there's not wanting to take it. And then there's also like some responsibility around regularly testing yourself and kind of avoiding large get togethers. So I hope everyone's okay. Um, as far as I know, the two people that were there that got sick are doing fine. Um, I'm also doing fine. Uh, I'm sick, but I think that's just from traveling. I get really stressed out when I travel and that depletes my immune system. So hopefully if I test negative again tomorrow, I will be able to attend the, um, event in Fort Worth this weekend. Uh, if you're, if you're thinking about following that, the better discourse event, I should be there. Um, as long as I feel better and I continue to test negative. So I keep tests around the house because I try to be responsible, you know, um, and I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Maybe Tim should do that going forward. I don't know if maybe he already does that. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm glad Timmy boy, Tim horse pace pool is better. We'll talk to you again real soon.